Welcome back to Body and Mind. Now, if you've had an indulgent beginning to your 2016, uh, which some of us have, chances are your body is in need of detox, even if your mind hasn't sent the signals yet. So today I'm joined by a lady who is really popular in the field of diet, detox and nutrition. I'd like to welcome to the show Mithun Desarkar. Mithun, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you, Ashwarya. You haven't gained a single pound <laughs> after your New Year holidays, I must say. I watch what I eat. O obviously you do. That's why you do what you do. <laughs> All right, now Mithun, one thing everyone has to say soon after Christmas and New Year is over is that, oh, I'm on a detox, but yet you see them sipping on their espressos. So the term detox is so loosely used a lot of the times that people don't know what it really means. Tell us about that. See, there is no universal definition for detox. When I say detox, I mean steer clear of everything that's processed, nothing out of a packet. Eat fresh produce, organic, so lots of fruits, vegetables. Stay away from foods that have a lot of hormones in it, for example, dairy, red meat. Yeah. So nothing processed, nothing packet, that's the key. Okay, now, now say someone hasn't had a long indulgent holiday and they were good, they've been good throughout the year. Is it still important to detox and sort of cleanse your system at least once a year? See, most of us, we drink a lot of coffee. Basically, we take in a lot of caffeine. We take medications off and on. We use our cell phones always, which gives you a lot of frequencies, radiations. We travel so much. We use a lot of chemicals. Makeup that we're using probably has so Makeup? <laughs> wow, I didn't know that affected detox, but okay. Anything that's chemical. We right. eat foods out of a packet, processed food. All these things our digestive system is not able to handle because it doesn't understand this. This is not real food. So it is fine to detox once in three months, if not every month. Right. Right, Mithun, with detox, is there a one-size-fits-all concept? Because I'm guilty of doing this. When I want to go on a diet or detox, I go online and I read some blog where somebody has a miracle diet which helped them lose 30 pounds. You know, you get so many of these blogs and internet tells you to do so many different things. And I wouldn't have lost a single pound following what worked for somebody else. Absolutely. One size doesn't fit all. It's mandatory that when you're trying to do anything for yourself, take professional guidance. Mm -hmm. You don't try to do anything on your own and always tell us what you've been doing for example if, if somebody has insulin resistance women have hormone related problems and let's say you've eaten during the holidays or whenever a lot of sugar laden sweets desserts um, saturated fats there's a certain way of dealing with it let's say we will tell you to have lots of celery juice club with beetroot we will ask you to have quinoa with uh, let's say pak choy but let's say you have thyroid mm -hmm. and pak choy cannot be taken or you cannot take broccoli you cannot take cabbage now the internet doesn't know what are your medical right. conditions right. So there are a lot of aspects to it. So a professional will know what works best for you. True. So what would a typical detox diet be like? Uh, I would say, let's say you wake up in the morning. Firstly, start your day early. Wake up in the morning, stand out in How the sun. How early are we talking over here? <laughs> Uh, seven? Is seven, seven a good time? Eight is, is good it, for me. Is Eight it is good for me. Enough? Yeah. Stand out in the sun, soak in some vitamin D, soak in the sun. Yeah. Okay. Drink hot water with lemon because lemon is again high source of vitamin C, which is a good antioxidant first thing in the morning. Then probably cleanse yourself with some coconut water, a shot of wheatgrass and some chia seeds. So it gives you natural vitamin, um, uh, sorry, natural omega 3s. Okay, and uh, the wheatgrass will increase your immune system and coconut water, you know, is full of potassium. Okay, okay, that sounds good. But what about lunch? That's the tricky meal for me. Then you start with a good breakfast. So when you have a good breakfast, you can still have oh, so a lighter. Oh, so all that was just a drink in the morning. It's just a flushing and drinking <laughs> okay, in the morning. Okay, that was just a flush. Okay, yes. what would you recommend so for breakfast? breakfast could be some steel-cut oats with, with almond milk and berries. Try to stay away from dairy for some time, you know, like I was talking about the hormones in the milk that is that we are using nowadays. Have some green juice after that probably, so which is spinach, kale, uh, lots of rocket leaves, some berries thrown in. And your lunch could be, say, quinoa, it could be sweet potatoes, it could be kale, it could be rocket leaves, it could be baby spinach again. Okay. Now, do you have any secret diet uh, recipes that have sort of worked for you? Absolutely. There is one ritual which I do every morning is have my turmeric tea, okay? One liter of water, fresh turmeric grated, put some dandelion leaves, okay? Cloves, fennel, cardamom. <laughs> All right. I need to go shopping Mint now. <laughs> leaves, and you boil it well for 10 minutes maybe, and then strain it and drink this throughout the day. It not only cleanses you, it clears your skin, gives you good hair, you feel good from within, you feel positive. And trust me that 
the feeling is really good, the energy that you get. Great advice from Dr. Mithun to have a healthy beginning to 2016. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much for calling me. Thank you. And that's a wrap in this edition. Join me again next week as we take a trip into an oasis of relaxation. In the meanwhile, stay safe and stay healthy.